Hi, I reviewed the Stream Source Labs DS401012 oscilloscope a couple of years ago. It is actually a great little pocket oscilloscope, especially given its specifications. It has a 1 giga samples per second sampling rate and a bandwidth of 150 MHz, and I was able to verify these specifications. I will leave a link to that review and teardown video in the video description below. If you are interested, you can check it out later. But one of the issues I found was that it was not able to capture and display an avalanche pulse correctly. An avalanche pulse is essentially a pulse with extremely fast rising time and is commonly used to test the bandwidth of oscilloscopes. A couple of my viewers had mentioned that an updated firmware version had been released by DreamSource Lab, so let's actually see if the firmware update fixed the issue. Before I do the firmware upgrade though, let's actually first take a look at the avalanche pulse display with the current firmware. So let's actually power it on. Now let me zoom in here. You can see, let's take a look at the version. You can see the firmware version currently is at 0.99T. So let me hook up my Avalanche Pulse Generator. And let's turn it on. Let's auto acquire the signal here. Of course, we need to adjust the scale manually. I just turn off all the measurements and also channel number two so you can see the waveform better. But you can see here, this is actually a heavily distorted avalanche pulse. Instead of having a peak, somehow we have this very large drop in the measured waveform. Not entirely sure what is going on. Now, I have speculated that this issue is probably due to some oversight in the implementation of the digital filter. I don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with the hardware, so it should be fixable via the firmware upgrade. All right, I just downloaded the version 1 firmware, and appears this actually was released a while back. Anyway, so from the description here, I don't see any specific mentioning of this particular problem. I'm hoping that they actually fixed the issue. So let me actually try to flash it onto the DS401012. So in theory, I should just be able to drag this firmware onto the flash drive here. And by the way, once you connect it, the device to the computer, it shows up as a flash drive. So let me do that. And it's trying to copy. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But it did say that USB disk is busy here. As you can see. So now, yeah, you just finished copying. So I think I need to reboot the oscilloscope right now. And let me unplug it. Okay, so let's power it off. And try start it again. Looks like it's doing the upgrade. You can see that the firmware has been updated and the current version is 1.0. So let's actually double check that. Let's come back here and you can see that indeed the version now is 1.0. So now a moment of truth. Let's actually see if the firmware upgrade fixed the Avalanche Pulse display issue. All right, let me hook up the Avalanche Pulse generator. And let's turn it on. Well, you can see that unfortunately the issue remains. So I'm actually a little bit disappointed because it didn't seem that this problem was addressed by the firmware upgrade. So perhaps there is a hardware aspect to it. And just to show you what the waveform should look like, I'm using the DS4252. This is a 50 MHz version. And by the way, the DS4252 was released a little bit later. So this one actually did not have the issue. So let me just show you that. And let's acquire. Now let's zoom in here. So you can see that this is actually the pulse we captured on the DS4252. Not an issue at all. Let's actually take a look at the firmware version of this DS4252. So you can see this one is already at version 1.0. So I guess the issue probably is hardware dependent. Even though we have the latest firmware version on the DS4012, it was not able to resolve the issue. 
If anybody has the latest DS401012, and if you can verify, let me know if you're still running the issue or not, that would be great. Unfortunately, the issue is still not fixed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Your participation makes videos like this possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.